Hey YouTubers, welcome back to another Underworld discussion video. If you've been a fan of my content for a while, you know that I am a longtime fan of the Underworld franchise ever since the beginning. I remember watching the first one opening weekend and just absolutely loving it, and then knowing that they were going to do a second film, and I really think the second film is just as good as the first one. I mean, it's weird, it's crazy, it's wacky, but I love it. And this, to me, is just a really depressing video to make because Variety recently did an interview with Kate Beckinsale. And they asked her whether or not she would be coming back for Underworld 6. And she says, and I quote very bluntly, I wouldn't return. I've done plenty of those. And look, this is something she's talked about for a really long time. She didn't want to come back for a fourth film. She didn't want to come back for a fifth film. But she did, so she might actually come back. But there's been rumors and speculation for a really long time now that they're not going to do another film. Obviously, the last film didn't perform to the best of its ability, where you had the peak of the franchise really in the fourth film, with Kate Beckinsale returning, it being a direct sequel from the second film, and people really excited about that. Plus, at the height of the whole 3D revolution, they sold it, it made more money than all the other ones, but it took too long to get a fifth one out. Maybe because of Kate Beckinsale's reluctance, maybe because they didn't have a story. If you ask me, I know it's not the best franchise in the world and that one's definitely not the best entry but I like the way they ended up you know figuring out all of the storylines and really tying a bow on everything Kate Beckinsale's character doesn't have to come back sure it's not underworld without Celine but they can continue in this world because there's a lot of stuff they can do with it and actually pull back the layers, rediscover some of the things that they introduced in the fourth film that they kind of glossed over in Blood Wars and there's a lot of stories to be told and other people who can take on that role. Like, I know a lot of people in the comment section and even in the fandom talking about how they want to see the next generation. They want to see Celine's daughter take over, and that might be a really good stepping stone, especially when you have Celine just say that she's asleep and she's just going to be asleep for a thousand years or something, but her daughter's still there, you know, as a, a, a you know, a gun for hire, or maybe she's not a part of any of these covens or anything, but she has another romance or there's something else going on. You know, there's story there, but with Kate Beckinsale not coming back, obviously this franchise has taken a huge blow, if that's the case. There's also been rumors that they're going to start a television series. I don't know the production value of that. I don't know what story you can tell that's long form with this. These stories, at least in my opinion, work really well for big level action sequences, one note plots that don't really have to revolve around the grander scope of the mythology of the series, right? The first one's really awesome because it deals with the hybrid. The second one's really awesome because it deals with the concept of vampires and werewolves and where they came from, their lineage, and the very first one of both races. And then you also have the fourth one dealing with what happens if humans figure out this whole secret war has been going on. The fourth one is really their fourth one, fifth one, whatever you want to call it, with Celine's character is really just there to be like, hey, let's try to figure out a way to wrap up all these storylines and give her a nice send-off, which it really does become a really nice send-off. It's a good five-film franchise, but we want a sixth one, right? We want there to be another one, and maybe that is through a television show. There's other there's other. There's other franchises that have done this, film franchises that have decided to tell its story through television. Ash vs. the Evil Dead was one of them. Currently, The Purge is going on, which is kind of an extension of the realm, or at least the world built in the movie franchise. So, yeah, there's ways of continuing this without Kate Beckinsale, but with her not coming back, man, that's a blow. That is really, really, really bad for anyone who's a huge fan like I am. Because we've already seen this happen before. We've seen what happens with an Underworld movie where Kate Beckinsale isn't the f sole focus of it. And even though the third film being a prequel and something they covered pretty heavily in flashbacks and gotten the entire story of in the first film, so it felt a re little redundant, it just was underwhelming to say the least because Kate Beckinsale just brought so much to the screen. So... Guys, what are your thoughts on this? Are you a big fan of the franchise like I am? Do you want to see it continue with Kate Beckinsale? Or do you think that there's legs and story there that it can go on without her? Tell me in the comment section below. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell over by the subscriber button to notify you every single time I upload. It's been real.